So, the other day, I was trying to find a movie that would serve as some background noise. I was playing some Hearthstone Battlegrounds, and a little gem caught my eye. Quarantine 2 Terminal. I ended up watching the entire movie, and I wanted to share some of my thoughts on it. If you haven't seen it yet, spoilers for the ending of Quarantine 1, and for about the first 30 minutes of Quarantine 2. If you've got some time, go watch those movies first, they're pretty fun. Anyways, let's get started. Now, I watched the old 2008 Quarantine movie back in the day, and I thought, hey, why not throw on the sequel and see what continued in the QCU? Now, the original Quarantine movie scared me when I watched it, but I was also in like third grade at the time, and I ended up watching the Spanish movie Wreck, which inspired Quarantine, not too long ago, and enjoyed that as well. With all this going in, I wasn't sure how this movie would hold up. However, I am a sucker for a good, scary monster from a virus movie. So I kept an open mind and ultimately paid more attention to it than I thought I would. The movie opens up with our two main characters, Jenny and Paula, the two Bessie flight attendants, talking in a cab after a night out at a concert. I like their dynamic, even if the dialogue is kind of cheesy, and the Sony Ericsson shot made me feel pretty nostalgic. We're still struggling in a post-COVID world, and it made me appreciate infection movies so much more because this dude, Wilsey, looks terrible. This man would not fly today, but here he is sneezing in his hands anyways. <laughs> Next we meet sad gamer boy, George. I know we all like to throw ourselves into m into this movie and we see the beginning of the end for these nice folk. A little love peck from the hamsters that Henry smuggled onto the plane on Ralph's finger. Poor guy was just trying to help out. If the bite didn't get him, the blood suck for sure did. Because these are no ordinary hamsters. They're infected rats carrying the quarantine one virus on them. Ralph buckles himself in with a pretty boss belt labeled the king and powers down for a little zombie nap. We know Ralph is a goner, but Wilsey looks like hell, and Preston's sneezing a lot too. I like that there's a bit of suspicion in the air too with the other passengers, you know, how many rabies zombies are we talking here? The plane takes off, our cast gets cozy, and, whoa, hang on, is that a Mario Kart on PSP? Can you, can you get Mario Kart? Huh. Some shenanigans get underway, Nile gets pretty pissed at a phone call, and Harry just grabs his phone out of his hand he he shouldn't be on his phone but that's not your job man jenny has it under control henry's checking out quarantine one and yeah we need to be a lot more worried about ralph maybe the cat too jenny frantically cleans herself up and this shot is spectacular Ralph is pretty much gone here, but my god, I have total faith he can rip that door off its 
Hinges? Whatever secures the doors in place on a plane, Ralph is much stronger than that, I know. The trip gets worse as turbulence hits and they gotta prop Ralph up. He lunges forward and we lose Susan. The plane goes for an emergency landing, but the tower at the nearest airport does not give the green light, but they decide to land anyway. They're trapped in this new gate with a very annoyed Ed. They're surrounded by police and... At this point, we have about 53-ish minutes of runtime. Sets up for plenty of action-packed sequences as passengers begin to uncover what's happening and which of them is ultimately responsible. I really don't know why I was so receptive of these characters, but I was rooting for them all until the end. I could probably talk about this movie for another 30 minutes, but I'll leave it here. Go give this movie a watch or even throw it on in the background. Maybe you'll get more drawn to it like I did. Props to the director and writers on making me feel invested in what I initially ignored because I figured it was a lame cash grab. Don't get me wrong, this is still a cash grab, but a cash grab with a very charming cast. If you made it to this part, I appreciate you. Drop a comment of your favorite character. Until next time, 